Well, greetings parents, Todd Frazier here, principal at Ratton Elementary. Just wanting to uh, share with you guys a few updates for all three of the elementary campuses. Um, first off is that uh, e-learning has launched uh, as of this past Monday. Um, our learning has gone online and is being delivered uh, through Schoology. Um, I know that you can access, uh, you can still access the content via the uh, website that was shared earlier, but uh, students can also log in directly and uh, get their assignments through Schoology. So if you are uh, still in need of a device, uh, please remember that uh, Wednesday, the 15th is the last day to check out a device at the high school. Again, that is from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at uh, Anna High School, and that is going to be uh, on the left-hand doors as you are facing the school where uh, device uh, checkout can be done. I um, also want to let everyone know that uh, food pickup is still continuing on at all three of the elementary campuses. That is uh, Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We're so grateful for our cafeteria staff who have been preparing those meals um, on a continuing basis to provide for uh, the families of Anna ISD and also for our volunteers at both the elementary and secondary campuses who have helped uh, distribute that uh, food to uh, all of our families. So again, that uh, food service is continuing uh, every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at each of the elementary campuses. Uh, please don't forget uh, library books. If you have them, um, when you are done and would like to return them, you can do so in the foyer, um, the same foyers at all the campuses where you dropped off the uh, completed packets. Um, those foyers, again, are open every day, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And each of the campuses should have a place to drop off library books. The one thing that I need to remind everyone is that when you do go pull on that door, it's the one with the black card reader on it, you have to make sure you turn it and then pull um, before it will open. So I know um, sometimes we're just used to those things just being able to pull, but you gotta make that turn first and pull it. You should be able to access the lobby again Monday through Friday um, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Also, please make sure that you guys are uh, checking on the AnnaISD.org uh, website, the main district website, for any updates in regards to school closures. I know that uh, Governor Abbott is supposed to address uh, schools and uh, what we're going to be doing going forward sometime later this week. Um, keeping our fingers crossed on that, that uh, we might be able to uh, salvage the last week or so and get some closure this school year. Um, but be sure to, uh, if you miss out on that broadcast and that announcement, uh, I know the district will be sending out something that follows up with that um, uh, as well. And uh, just one last thing for parents. I know that this can all be overwhelming. Um, we've got, you know, the transition from paper to pencil to online learning. Um, you know, when we were kids, online learning didn't exist. I mean, online really didn't exist. And so I know it can be hard to get your brain kind of wrapped around what exactly the kids should be doing, um, especially for the younger grade levels uh, that rely so much on the parents for the support in that area. And so I just want to encourage everybody that it is okay to take a break. Um, if you find yourself getting frustrated or your child getting frustrated, stop. Go ahead and uh, resume later in the day or maybe take that day off. And uh, the other thing, too, is that, hey, you know what? You can still learn even though it's not necessarily a paper to pencil or on the computer doing the uh, assigned activities. Um, you know, you can go outside, uh, send the kids outside to play. I know we can't play like we normally would, but they can still get outside, get some fresh air, especially when the weather gets a little bit warmer. Um, you know, work together in the kitchen and cook or, you know, if you... Uh, Step out in faith and let your kiddo cook. I know my seven-year-old made some sugar cookies and uh, they were edible. <laughs> um, but he had a blast doing it and had practiced some math doing that. So I'd say go ahead and unleash your kids and be prepared that there is going to be a mess, but they're going to have a fun time doing it and uh, they'll learn a little bit of something as well. So um, let your kids explore in the yard. Check out the plants. Check out the grass, the bugs, whatever might be uh, around, uh, but just let them explore and maybe record what they've observed and then have a discussion about that. 
or just go for a nature walk. Um, go out and uh, walk around the neighborhood. I know I see lots of families in my neighborhood walking around, and as long as you're sticking to the six feet uh, social distancing, um, you're getting fresh air, you're getting some exercise, and just point out different things and have your kiddos just point out different things and uh, describe things to you. And So those are all ways that you can keep your kids engaged, keep them learning um, that are non-traditional, and uh, kind of gives you a break from what would be considered, uh, you know, regular school. So just know uh, that it's okay to do that. Um, and so, you know, again, just want to encourage uh, parents uh, through this time. And just remember, too, that uh, each staff at Harlow, Bryant, and Ratton, we're all here to provide support for you. So we love those kiddos um, just as much as you guys do. We miss them terribly, have been uh, enjoying getting to see them virtually. And if there's any question that you have, I know that uh, our uh, teachers have uh, specific office hours that they're holding each day. But uh, And so feel free, please take advantage of those office hours to reach out and ask your questions and get those quick responses. But the other thing, too, is if you are needing some additional help, you know, uh, reach out to them either through Schoology, through email, um, through whatever messaging, and ask those questions. Um, it may not be, depending on the time of day, it may not be instantaneous because we do have meetings and whatnot uh, to plan learning. Um, but just know that we are here to help you uh, and ultimately to help support and uh, help your kiddo learn and be successful. So please utilize us as a resource. Um, you're not going to be bothering us. We want to help you. We want to help your kids. So again, uh, hope these updates are helpful and uh, try to make this a little bit more regular. Uh, so again, if you have any questions, always uh, head over to AnnaISD.org uh, for the latest news there um, or reach out to your child's teacher uh, to get the latest uh, or to ask questions. And uh, we'll see you next time.